The House Intelligence Committee requested that the Justice Department provide them today with any proof at all backing up President Trump's tweets from earlier this month. Some of them, to recall, terrible. Just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism. Is it legal for a sitting president to be wiretapping a race for president prior to an election? Turned down by court earlier, a new low. How low has President Obama gone to tap my phones during the very sacred election process? This is Nixon, Watergate, bad or sick guy. Now, to recap, since those tweets nine days ago, this charge by the president has been called false by the director of the FBI, false by the former director of national intelligence, and not one credible, informed source that we can find in Washington has said that the president's accusation is true. And I'm including Vice President Pence in that group. To say that members of the House Intelligence Committee are expecting reams of paper to prove this charge coming their way today, well, that would be doing a disservice to the members of that select committee. And we as a nation, we've had to live in this farce for the last nine days, where defenders of the president have twisted themselves into pretzels to try to suggest the possibility that the tweets weren't preposterous by rejiggering the facts of the tweets to try to make this wild and unfounded claim by the president seem to live somewhere in the vicinity of the neighborhood of possible. I think there's, a, there's no question that the Obama administration, that there were actions about surveillance and other activities that occurred in the 2016 election. That is a widely um, reported activity that occurred back then. The president used the word wiretap in quotes to mean broadly surveillance and other activities. So to break out White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer's Trump to English Dictionary, by Obama, President Trump meant the Obama administration. By wiretap, he meant any kind of surveillance. And by surveillance of Trump's phones at Trump Tower, he meant apparently surveillance of anyone who may have had any conversation with anyone who was part of the 2016 election. Sometimes revisionism is so blatant, it's not revisionism, it's just a complete rewrite. He didn't mean Obama had his wires tapped at Trump Tower. He meant the Obama administration may have conducted surveillance during the election of some people, including some who may have spoken to people on campaigns or having communications with those campaigns. Those are two completely different things. One is false and one is true. But other than the word Obama, they have little in common. As with so many of these unfounded charges, three to five million illegal votes, the highest murder rate in half a century, and on and on, the White House is now spending its energy and your tax dollars trying to change demonstrably false assertions into perfectly understandable beliefs tangentially related to the original lie. And while doing so, they're squandering their own credibility and they're wasting time defending the indefensible instead of devoting time to, say, improving your lives.